everyone, it's V and I'm so excited to take you on the education tour with me in Zimbabwe. I'm a girls education advocate and I'm here doing my work. Plus, I've just released a new book, so I'm signing it. And of course, seeing my family after four years, which is so exciting. Enjoy! Hey guys, so we're at the Zimbabwean airport and we've just managed to go to the bathroom and somehow get dressed and get changed because like, I'm going to speak at an event already. We landed an hour ago, life is crazy. So our family came to pick us up and they were so excited to see us and then we made our way to the junior parliamentary council house where we're meeting some of the brightest in Zimbabwe and I'm giving them a talk on how to shape their futures. I am really impressed by what you're doing and the fact that you guys are the best in the We just finished the event at the Junior Council. We're at the like parliamentary house and this is where like the Minister of Youth is at and it's so exciting. We're going home. We're sitting in the back <laughs> of the pickup. The shoes are done. <laughs> you guys don't be a year. So guys, welcome to today's vlog. We are now heading off to a UCAS event and then I'm going to go straight to my book signing which is at Sam Levy or Levi Village. Now we're off. This is Nasha, our regional leader for mm -hmm. Girl Up Zimbabwe, which you guys know I've been working with and I've been really excited to volunteer with. So today we um, are at Education Matters. Yeah, we are at UCAS Community School um, in Avondale, Harare, Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. um, where we're going to be talking to uh, students who are writing their A levels, that's their final year in high school, and we're going to be talking about shaping the future, accountability, mm -hmm. and all things how to be a leader basically. <laughs> Anything like that, Chaitika. Who I tell first of Shaman is I go out there. to the to pictures. And if I turn on a mama later, we ain't gonna be a rogue. Why are you saying that? We're now at Folio Bookshop to do a book signing. Why you make a vamba? Why you make a vamba? 
And I'm just selling my book. I'm having a book signing today. I'm so, so excited. And um, I can't believe it. Like, I don't know what this you, you do. I could cry if I start talking about it, but this really means the world to me. And I said to Penguin, how can I write a book? And it's about to go live in the USA. It's all over the UK. It's going to Australia, but it's not yet home. Like, take my book home and let me go with it. day three of being in Zim. Today is the third day which is exciting and we're going to Zimbabwean um, radio which is called ZFM. When you travel with a lot of people, <laughs> some people have to go with <laughs> I'm hoping that as the vlog goes on, you guys realize that my voice is changing slowly, yeah? My fabas! I'm going to get the cousins and family sorted is mayhem. ZFM Radio. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. I like your smile, by the way. <laughs> I left Zim when I was six years old and I studied international education policy. And that's what the book is all about. Me sharing my experiences and how... Wait, you went to Harvard? Yes, wow. I finished last year. Wow. I'm a Zimbabwean girl through and through, like Tarashola to Taura, Hapana, like Jatno Misa. Hey guys and welcome to day four of the vlog it's been a crazy few days but yesterday my family threw me a surprise birthday party which is great like i just it was so so lovely and we partied throughout the night oh yes this is my other cousin sharon the house is crazy this is every day like there's always people every single day Guys, the walk is very long to go and visit my dad's grave, but it's worth it. Right guys, so we've just came from this my dad's grave. It's quite dark now. But in this moment it's still so beautiful, quite emotional. So I didn't really record. But um yeah, it was nice because we built it and um, we've built a great stuff.
Hey guys, and welcome to day five. I don't know what day it is anymore, but welcome, welcome, welcome. We've sat over at my auntie's house from my dad's side. This is my cousin. Hey, my There's my other cousin, Monica. This is the kitchen. I'm making some Cousins for lunch. Well, there's a whole bunch of us. Hello. Morning, guys. It is currently five in the morning. No one's happy about that, and we're going to. Guys, we're at Good Morning Zimbabwe. Oh, we just had a really cool interview for some on Instagram. I follow all your posts. You're very inspirational and I think a lot of people are excited to have you. It's something that is so passionate about, especially period poverty. It's not even about that part more. It's because it's just what it's something that is not good to choose. Tango, Zara, Tavascana, and every month, fun where this thing, now it's a part of it, it's not natural. For today, we are at the leadership seminar. I'm going to be talking again. My mom and my auntie are behind us over there. Telling me that, ah, what is it? Sometimes you don't go to no manya. Slow down. That school's got mama teas. I'm so cold. It's a ball on So um, I'm trying my best to make sure you know I'm cooking it. Jim, because Jim is a little bit. Think that girls deserve the world and they deserve to be given the time, the energy, the resources, the attention to thrive and to become leaders. Tino's giving a big donation of clothes for the baby, so we're off and I'm really excited. <laughs> So guys, we're at the children's home and it's bittersweet, right? I'm happy because I'm really glad to meet the children, but I'm so sad because hearing the stories of how they've ended up here at the orphanage and things, and the, oh, it's so heartbreaking and I 100% want to do more. And the situation's not good, but yep, yeah, for right now, before I get back to the UK and start tackling and start thinking of a way of helping, for now, uh, we're just playing with the kids and just getting to know them and bonding. And right now we're hiding lollipops. Good morning everybody. So today is like the final day of me working on it. So we have the leadership seminar today and then after that like two days left and we're leaving which feels so crazy because the time has gone by like We've made it to the Dominican Covenant and um, excited to be to school. Of internationally recognized leader, YouTube visionary, 
education activist and founder of a global youth empowerment organization, which is called Empowered by V. I thought, how do I change this? Because I hate seeing a problem and then just complaining about it. Constantly just complaining about a problem. Like, how do we fix this? I come with association members in Zimbabwe and we are so privileged to be joined by V. <laughs> I'm so excited and honoured to be here. I've been a long time supporter and a huge fan of CAMFED and everything that they do here. I think that the campaign for female education is one of the most important um, problems that we're fighting in the world right now, alongside climate change and everything else that you'll hear from us later on, especially given that it's Earth Day. It's important to highlight that, you know, they go side by side. Hey guys, so it's the end of the, 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 the programs. It's our last night together as a family. We are going to see our grandma. We all share a grandma and we're going to see her. We're going now. It's about five hours ride, so it's a bit long. I don't know why I need a jacket. Hey. 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 This was their kitchen. This is my grandma's kitchen. Hey mom, how do you feel to be home? I feel good. So, we're going to brush our teeth and look at it, it's so beautiful. It's basically the village. And this is how we get our water. And now turning bread into a cheddar. It's no question what's in it. Are you still here, Fadzi? I am. How's it going? So we're gonna brush our teeth now and this is how you brush your teeth. You get water from the well and then you use a cup and when you're showering you just use a bucket. There's my bath water there and we're getting ready so Guys, now we're just in the process of cooking and getting ready. Strange. I've just put some cream on so my face looks a little crazy but it's the last day in Zimbabwe and we're leaving and these are my bags packed up um I feel quite sad because I really love Zim but gotta go to South Africa and finish off this book tour <laughs>
Hey. Hey.